crafty people tracy reed here today coming at you with a life crafted layout using my new day collection designed for echo park i'm going to be scrapbooking these photos of me in front of my collection at the scrapbook store uh so i'm going to start with the large paper pad because i'm going to need eight inch uh 8.25 inch pages and so the other Paper pads are only six by six, but then I don't know, we're gonna be mixing stuff up and seeing how it goes. All right, let's do it. So I decided, I had a plan in mind and I decided I wanted to create a pocket using those photos and a four by six card that I've trimmed down to a little bit smaller, like it's five inches wide to match the page and I trimmed off the top and the bottom a little bit. And then I decided I wanted to go really light in the background of this page. So I'm gonna use this beautiful, um, minty sort of green background and these florals as well um, and I decided I wanted to use them together um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim down this green paper to the same size and I'm going to decide which side I want to be in the front and I decide that I want the floral to be in the background with a torn green sheet of paper on the front of both sides. I really liked the way that that looked. It's beautiful and subtle and really pretty and ah, I just love it. So I'm going to put this down at the bottom and then I'm going to do the same on the other side. There we go. So I'm going to put this, um, pocket down first. I'm just going to build this side so that I know where I'm going. Of course, always putting in the, <laughs> the holes so I know where they are. Learned that lesson. I'm going to use red line tape to create a pocket. So I'm just going to put red line tape around the outside edges so that I can get it as stuck as possible. So it will hold up to me pulling these photos in and out. Okay, then I'm gonna work on the other side. I'm gonna do another paper tear. And then when I do that, I can't decide if I want them to meet in the middle or if I want them to be opposite. So you see me rotated a few times. Do I want the green on the top? Do I want the white on the top? Decide immediately to just do one photo. They're basically the same photo anyway and they weren't both gonna fit over there. I don't need that many photos of me on one page. <laughs> uh, so I decide to do the green on the bottom to match. And now I'm going to mat this photo in a couple of papers I have over here, as well as these photos. So I'm gonna create tags out of some six by six paper for each of these photos. And I'm gonna make each one slightly longer than the last so that they sit sort of at a graduated decline in the pocket. And then the one that I put my journaling card on is going to be the largest. It's gonna go in the back so that it sticks out the top. So you can see I've left a lot of room at the top there so that I can make sure that I have enough room to cut off and trim later. I'm gonna do the same with this pink one and the yellow one. You can see they're all slightly shorter than the last so that they sit lower. Then I need to create the same thing for the tag in the back. And I'm going to use the, these uh, tags that I start snipping as a template for the other tags. And then I've got four tags to stick in this pocket. There we go. I'm gonna move up the photos so that you can see them sticking out the top and I will add word strips or stickers to the bottom to cover up some of that space. It's not really a big, big of a deal because you only see that space at the bottom when you pull them out. They don't really affect the design very much, but I don't like having blank space even when it's mostly hidden. So I will end up adding um, some stickers to the bottom of that gonna move this card up too because if they are all going to be in the back they all need to be at the top so you can see them all okay phew so I've got all of those settled and now I can mat this photo I'm gonna do it in the same colors that I used for the tags on the other side so I'm going to do blue in the front and then I will do pink in the back just to pull in some of the colors from the right hand side to the left hand side and also give it some more visual interest. I'm gonna cut that pink paper into a tag to match so many tags, all the tags. I had a tag filled sketch over the weekend too. <laughs> so I've just am doing all kinds of tags lately. I cut that circle off, perfect. Add in my hole. All right. Oh perfectionism kicking in <laughs> then I was like no nope, no nope, don't mess with it don't do it okay now I can stick this 
tag down and I actually end up moving it a couple of times because <laughs> look I have two tape runners just for that problem I end up moving the tag a couple times because initially I was going to put it up towards the top so that I had room at the bottom for things but then I realized later on down the line that um, I had that big title on the right hand side with that bloom where you are planted so I didn't really want to put anything at the bottom also, I don't need another title, so you can see me go, oh, I don't need, um, I need, I need to balance this at the bottom here, so I moved it back up again. We'll move it around a couple times. I want to use a couple of stickers from the sticker pad. That one says stay blooming. This one says flourish and thrive. This layout is about, um, it has some private journaling about how I came to work with Echo Park and, um, how I managed to, um, flourish and bloom and thrive in some pretty harsh circumstances. So uh, that's kind of the vibe that I'm going for here and the story that I'm telling. So that's why I'm using a lot of word bits that say like blooming and flourishing and all of that because I really want that positive vibe for this page. Of course, I have to incorporate a floral. I love the florals in this collection. They're so whimsical and fun. So I'm going to stick it right underneath here to sort of frame that tag. Oh, we can do it. <laughs> oh no. And of course, if I cut off part of a floral, I got to use it in a different place. So I'm going to take that floral and stick it down at the bottom of this page. Maybe after I get this rainbow, there we go. Stick it down at the bottom of this page. They're never going to know. <laughs> Perfect. Come on, you can do it. Always so indecisive. Perfect. All right. So now I've got florals and I'm going to stick these word strips that say you can't have rainbows without a little rain on this tag. So initially I was going to incorporate it into all three, uh, but it didn't like the way that that one had two and the other ones each had one because <laughs> I'm OCD that way. So instead I'm going to put you can't have a rainbow and then eventually without a little rain on this one. And then instead of putting more of that phrase on the yellow tag, I'm going to incorporate it. This phrase that says, love this photo. Come on, you can do it. All right. So rain without a little, there we go. Okay, so then I'm gonna put the word strip that says, love this photo on the yellow one with another one of those rainbows. Love the rainbows in this collection. There were so many fun ones. Cute, cute, cute. All right, those tags are done. Simple, easy peasy, perfect. So now I need to pull this all together. I'm feeling like it's a little bit flat. I'm gonna add some of these bumblebees just because I wanted some more yellow on this side. But I'm feeling like the layout is a little bit flat. I don't know what I was doing here. Hello, it comes out the bee's butt. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna put a matching one up at the top as soon as I find it. I love that the sticker book at Echo Park has two sheets of each sticker pad. That makes me happy. So if I use these bees, I can use them again later. Okay, moving everything down. Like I said, I move it quite a few times so that there is balance on this page. Making sure I don't stick that bee trail in the hole. <laughs> this is why I punch my holes in advance every time, unless I forget. And then whenever I forget, I always screw up every single time. I'm gonna add some, a floral back here so it sticks out the top of those tags and then a label down here that I'm going to put the date on with a date stamp. If I can ever get that under there. So I wasn't quite sure of the date. I knew it was the first week of March. So I'm just picking a random date in the first week of March. It's probably not the right date. doesn't matter though. It was just the date that I went to the scrapbook store. So it doesn't make, it doesn't matter much. So I decided because this was looking a little flat, I'm going to add some tool because this collection is super de duper girly. And so why not? I'm going to add some tool behind all of these tags. So I'm just bunching it up and I'm going to eventually staple it down. Uh, I'll staple the whole tag down to the tool so that everything stays in place. But first I'm going to use some tape runner just to hold it there. So I'm going to put it up in the top corner of this one. And then I will put it down in the bottom corner as well. You can see I'm just using tape runner on this tag to sort of 
just temporarily stick it down. It would probably be fine if I did that, but uh, I can never be too safe since I don't use page protectors, so I will eventually staple it down with a tiny attacher. Making sure that this kind of comes over the top because that white tool on the white background doesn't like have a huge impact, so I wanna make sure you can see it. Then I'm gonna do the same over here in this corner, and then I will put it behind the tag at the top two on the blue, or behind the blue tag, adding in all of these twine pieces first. All right, then I'm gonna add the last of my tool up in the top corner behind this blue tag so that it matches and there's just a little bit more depth. Just some fun texture. But that is it for this layout. If you enjoyed it, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy M. Reed. I'd love to see you over there as well. And I will see you next time. Thank you.